when it comes to your paranormal investigations, you guys find out if, if a place is haunted or even debunk because you were telling me that you were actually a skeptic when you joined this team. I am a skeptical believer. I don't take everything for face value. I have to know scientifically if there's video evidence, audio evidence, there has to be proof. I'm just that way. I have to be able to see it. You had an experience recently that kind of shook you. We were doing an investigation and we had a group of investigators. We were outside the home. No one was in the home. We had cameras set up. We entered the home after being outside. There was a broom laying in the floor, cabinets open. I just thought we did it. On review, it was actually captured the kitchen cabinet cabinet doors opening up on camera with no one in there. We were all outside. Nothing shaking. No, there's Nothing. no there's no way that this could have opened in some other way. No, all the cabinet doors had those little locks. That kind of changed your views on things, huh? This particular instance, yeah. I mean, there was something in the home. How else can you guys find out if there's something? Besides the video, what else do you guys look for? Barometric pressure, temperature, EMF, the air quality. Right. Uh, there's a lot that the environmental factors. Have you guys ever done one of these investigations? Because we've had people call and they said that once they've experienced something like what both of you guys have, have explained, uh, they couldn't live in that house again. Some people are okay with staying there if we teach them how to give boundaries to the ghosts, the spirits. Um, a lot of times ghosts are just like children. If you will give them very strict rules, they will follow those rules so that you can coexist. One of the things that I've learned through our listeners is is kids. What is it about kids who are in that age? Is that a thing? They're more open to uh, outside influences of spirits. It's just something with the, a child, their innocence. They and haven't been taught yet that there's no such thing as ghosts. They're still so young that they don't have that, you know, concept grasp. Bottom line, are ghosts real? Are spirits real? Do we have them out? I believe that they exist. And that's what our organization is all about, the research. I want to be able to show them scientific evidence that something was going on. There's something out there. That's what we're looking for.